Why, hello everyone! Welcome! Welcome to Playframe! My name is Dan, and this is the return of the Obra Dinn, and it's not just me, in fact. <gasps> I am joined today by hello. Carrie! Yes, Carrie's here! Usually, I do these bonus playthroughs as a solo thing, just myself, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. However, we have you here for two reasons. One, this is a mystery game, and I need more pairs of eyes, because I'm not, I'm not good at these. Two, <laughs> This is kind of a special occasion here because this bonus playthrough is in celebration of us hitting the milestone of a thousand patrons on the Playframe Patreon, which is incredible. We are so grateful to every one of you. Thank you so much for supporting this thing we've made. Thank you. <laughs> so we felt like that merited something special. And frankly, this game has been, well, we usually do a bonus playthrough every time we hit a hundred patrons as like a milestone. This Return of the Obra Dinn has been in the running for almost every single one, and it almost like keeps on coming so close to winning and then just getting victory snatched away. This time it won, and Finally. it feels right. Yes, yes. we're going to do it. I've been so excited for this one because I tried to play it myself and got motion sick and had to stop very quickly. So That, that and, may still happen. I don't, I don't know. I'm not controlling it, and I'm not only a foot from the screen, so it should be better. That that will help. This, so For those of you who are not familiar with it, this is a mystery game on a boat uh, created by Lucas Pope, I believe, the creator of Papers, Please. And it is styled, as you can tell, uh, after the sort of like one-bit graphics of old Macintosh systems. So there's two colors on screen and only two colors, and that's how it's going to be. Let's go. I'm so excited for this. I am super keyed up from listening to a bunch of Stan Rogers, and <laughs> I am just ready to go. Oh, the year was 1778. Wait. No, I guess those years wow, are trip to the, at the starting line. Oh, no. <laughs> Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Obra Dinn. Built 1796 in London. 800 tons, 18 feet draft. Captain R. Captain R. Witterell. Crew 51 men. Lost uh, last voyage to Orient. Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contract East mm -hmm. India Company. Uh, yeah, London oh. office. Whoops. Screen went away. By the way, we've not played this before, so please no spoilers down in the comments. Also, for the sake of the people who are watching this who have not played it, it's a mystery story. Let's all be courteous. The Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Oh my goodness. Falmouth, England, 1807. Been missing for five years. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Not many eager for that job. Well, you know. Pay the rent. A bit late if you ask. I didn't. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. <laughs> Ooh. And here we are. On a boat. Actually, this is the boat we're going to be on, though. So let's get let's get on the boat. Are we on a boat and getting on a ship? Maybe. I guess they do. They don't like it when you call it boats. This is a ship. My mistake. Sorry, I'm new to boats. I'm gonna call or it ships. boats. Sorry again. I'm probably gonna call it boats. We're it's we're gonna be calling gonna it boats happen. a lot. Kind of get used to that on this boat mystery. So here's the look of the game. It's really a cool. unique, incredible style. Like, just take a freeze frame of this, and this is how. The graphics, uh, like still graphics of so many old games used to be back in the day, and except it's actually it, 3D and it's yeah, like moving. Seeing it in 3D in motion is wild. This is super cool. Like what a what a neat style. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. So anyway, on a boat. The Obra Dinn. Mast broken, but sort mm. of repaired. Kind of. Hmm. And oh, we have a body. All right. Um. I'm going to forgive the fact that the insect activity is well and truly finished and just allow those bugs as a little signal to us, the players. Probably what else are the bugs going to do? There's nothing else on this boat to do. Um, There's nothing on that body for those bugs to do. Well, now they've spent so much time with it that it's their friend. <laughs> you think they're just hanging out because it's... I mean, the bugs went up here for a little... What? It's too heavy. Oh, right. The thing. Sorry. My bad. We're investigating. Bugs specifically. Did you know there's bugs up here? Listen. We're detectives. Investigating insect activity during a crime is an important thing. Why are you going back down? He's complaining about the 
about the thing. Oh, you think you I've done like the opening minutes of this just to You do it. can hoist it. Take it yourself or open it here. Oh. All right. Fair enough. Um Okay. Ooh. A book. We have a book. So that animated dithering is really wild. Wow. This is our book. Return of the Obra Dinn, A Catalogue of Adventure and Tragedy, 1807. Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Obra Dinn. I expected this day to come, and my very intention was to... or every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Obra Dinn is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. Mm. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Mm. Henry Evans. But Fine. Um, I want to know the things. Okay, we got our table of contents. We've got all of our chapters. Uh, ooh, okay. The Journey. Atlantic leg of the Far East route. All right. So here we are, starting here, I assume, or maybe yep. ending here. Nah, starting there. Okay. And uh, heading Coming down south, 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 south around, around Africa. The Horn. Around here, and I can't pan over, but that's that's the route yeah. plan. Looks like maybe the plan is to land at Cape... Is that Cape Horn down at the bottom? I don't remember. I that's the thing a... I used to know. Yeah. There's something called the Cape of Good Hope, and I don't know if that's it or if that's a different thing. Ooh. It's been Ooh. a long time since I was in a class that cared about these things. Um, you know? Same. The ship. Uh, deck plans for the Ober Din. Let's see. This All is right. the Orlop deck. So this is where we are, I guess, right now. Uh, let's see. Orlop deck. That, that does say Orlop deck, right? I've never heard that word before. I've not either. Oh, the decks are the different ah, the gun levels, deck. basically. The main okay, deck. so main deck up here, right. Okay. Uh, passenger cabins are up here, captain's quarters are up here. Uh, on the gun deck below that, we've got some words I don't know and some text the that's a little bosun. hard to read sometimes. And the bosonate? Got it in one. Definitely. Boson is definitely one of them. Second mate, fourth mate, first, third, stewards, midshipmen. Uh, below that, you've got the Orlop deck, where there's the purser's office, passengers, port walk, gunners, lots of other things. Store, surgery, uh, crew. Surgery, crew. Okay. And the cargo hold below that uh, with Has even more things. I'm sure we'll be resorting, like, referring back to this later some more. Um, the crew. Ooh. Complete crew and passenger, passenger manifest. All right. Mm. Not going to read all of these, but <laughs> names. here's all the names of all the people. On I'm the boat. seeing family names. It's I'm actually, seeing... a, oh, are you seeing like two people, like people sharing names here? Yeah. Um, I thought I saw some at least. Maybe it was earlier. Well, maybe I was not seeing names. When you scan through, there's a few names that have like similar length and stuff bird... that seem like they're together. Um, there. Nope, I was not seeing similar <laughs> names or the same names. I was seeing the name as it scrolled moving. Life at sea. Sketches of life aboard the Obra Din. Ooh. All right. Cool. It's just several sketches. Dicing and... Characters. Oh. Uh, justice at sea. Wow. I think I figured out the crime. <laughs> We've solved the crime. They this was much easier man. than they made it seem. They made a sketch right there the and shot the person. Uh, loose cargo oh, no. and then... On the uh, cargo deck. Just a whole lot of... A lot of chapters we have not yet filled in. A lot of work to do. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Whoop. Hold it. This chapter will remain unknown until you leave the ship and return the book to me. All right. The bargain chapter. We were informed. Uh, says and Henry Evans. Et, 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 lots of chapters to do, to do. Okay. Uh, glossary, glossary. And the end. And yeah. yep. Go back to the glossary for a second. Do, do, do. And, and go to the bosun. Bosun. Uh, Alt Boatswain. Boats, or Boatswain? I don't know how to say that. Uh, foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. That's useful to know. I think this might be where I learned that it was pronounced bosun. Bosun. Because they've got it right there. <laughs> yeah, I've pretty much said Boatswain my whole life, and that's wrong. I'm certain. I mean, I think that's what it started as. 
What's a purser? Administrative um, official. Many. Accounts for all cargo, value, and trade transactions. Manages a small item store for the crew. Cool. Okay. We'll be referring back to this later, I'm sure, as well. Oh, yeah. As we hit the words we don't know. Anyway. Which is pretty much all of them. Good book. Let's and... Compass. Yes. Memento mortem. Remember death. Okie dokie. Oh, memento memori is what I'm used to seeing. Ah. Uh, instead of memento mortem. Back onto boat. Yes. Now that we have our things. Yes. There is a cage. There is a cage. Straight yeah. ahead. And it's broken. Oh, you're right. What escaped this cage? Hmm. Are there tigers on the boat? There is are this... tigers on the boat. <laughs> run! Everyone run! We're... There are tigers on the boat! We've solved... <laughs> We've solved the mystery. It was tigers, everyone. It the was tigers. tigers did it. <laughs> <laughs> Who of you are betting on tigers? You win. <laughs> no, it was not tigers. I'll stop trying to automatically solve all of the questions. But imagine if it is tigers, though, and we called it in one. Mm, that'd be pretty great. Are there baskets underneath the steps? Baskets underneath the steps. Because uh, my brain saw what it's telling me is Easter baskets. Oh, we got like buckets. Okay. Some pails and they like... They do look kind of like Easter baskets from my childhood, but well, they are not. In the absence of better Easter baskets here on the boat, that's probably what they would use. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let us see the fate of this individual. Let's. Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! Ooh. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Mmm. All right. All right. So here's so we have our a scene. Seems like. Oh. All right. Um, yuck. So we've got a lot of investigating to do here. Um... This appears to be yeah. Captain. Hello, uh, Captain. And hold on, there's a list of controls somewhere in here that I'm going to find useful later, I bet. Uh, controls. Okay, action, zoom with the left trigger, that's good to know. Uh, pause, open book, page right, left, cool. All right, okay. oh good, glad I can hit X for table of contents in there in the book, that's gonna make life easier. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> also the zoom thing, I wanna try the zoom thing. Oh, before I even do that, uh, you can, this is just fun, change the um monitor style colors it's still two colors all the time but oh. you can choose which two colors and that's cute i guess that computer in the library when i was little was an ibm <laughs> now you know uh okay but zoom um ooh, it glow Ooh. and uh, uh, show us imagery we're identifying this is the captain yeah see that picture of him nice okay uh, so let's go up and zoom in on the gentleman who's just been shot. Good call. Uh, let's, let's find see. out who you are. You there. Uh, that individual. Okay. You've so got we're a matching, fancy hat. We're matching faces to people in the photo or the art he renderings or whatever. He might be like the second in commandy person. Could be. Also, there's you. Oh, no. Our time's up. Oh, jeez. Time. I'm curious to see if we can rewatch the same... I bet we can. Thing. Surely they wouldn't limit it like that. Because uh, I want to investigate the world state. Oh no, we have found the end. At the end already, huh? Hey, something. A gun. Neat. Outside the captain's quarters. Location of the corpse. Three others were present. And... Three others were present? Who I only is, saw three people. Who is this? How did they die? Um. Uh. Okay, so... If, Click. Uh, this is... This unknown soul met an unknown fate. We know they were shot. We know. So, okay, so we're going to fill in the gaps with... Um, none of this feels right. Here we go. Shot with... That would be impressive, but no, gun. it's a gun. Uh, this unknown soul was shot with a gun by, by an unknown captain. attacker. By what? Yeah, it appears to be the captain. So I'm going to say... Yes. Like, I don't know if it's a good idea to guess or not, but... um. I'm going to just say Captain, because that's what it really, 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 really seems like. Uh, I don't think that's a guess. I think that's a known thing. It seems like guessing a known thing. Guessing would be guessing that that's the second mate, 
because his hat is fancy like the captain's and he's standing next to the captain. That would be a bit of a guess. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave that be. Yeah. Um, but we know that much. Uh, Three others were present. I'm curious about this. Let's see. So we have the uh, dialogue mm-hmm. written in. That's nice. Location of the corpse is there. Yep. Uh, right on the main deck. Three others were present. That's uh, the captain. Or, or no, that's the oh. shot individual. Uh, oh, that's the individual shot by shot R. Whittle. With gun by R. Whittle. There is uh, the captain. Here is other individual the other person. we spotted. Um, Interesting. So. Okay. Let's see. That's all we really can do here, right? This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. Maybe they just had a blurry face. This blurring indicates that you don't yet have sufficient information to to determine their identity. Oh, it doesn't mean they care what I think. (laughs) Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Already done. Mm -hmm. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Mm. Fair enough. Good to know. Carry on and pay attention. Okay. Of course. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some ah, way. Ah, so we will have a hint. That's good. If we know we should know them, that or helps. we will know we should know them when we see their face unblurred. Yeah. Uh. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So, can we... I wanted to see if anything else, like, pops up. Uh. Right. Okay. Um. You can go back to the... Oh, we can fill this in. Yeah. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, pages two through four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about... Unknown... Yeah. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Hmm. Well, this one, I feel like we can guess, is the captain. Robert Witterell. Boom. There you go. Perfect. Um, One memory. The memory we've just seen. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, this all appears in one memory. First memory, one to... Oh. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. How hmm. do you do, how do, you do that? Oh. I think it's been done for us. I guess so. Great. Okay. All right. Um... This is so cool. Yeah, this is really neat. If any of y'all are wanting to try this out, this game has been is fairly beloved, reviewed very well. Uh, it's on just about everything now. So uh, <laughs> now the other gentleman's face is that also blurred? Uh, yeah. It does look quite yeah, blurred. It does look quite to me. blurred. But could you click on him and see what we have? Let's see. Available. Mm, you don't have sufficient information to determine yeah. this person's identity. You can await for the clues. Please explain <laughs> or try anyways. We can await for the clues. Yeah, we know what's up. That's fine. Yeah. I'm with you. And they're in this one memory. I just cool. wasn't sure what it would give you. Okay, well... So... Ah, if we can... We are oh, still here. Good. Okay. There's the third person. It said oh, three yeah. other people were look present. Look at you all sneaky and running off. Hold on. Okay. You there. Hi, hello. You've got a knife. Look at you and your knife. All right, you are added to our list. Is the cutting blade towards his mouth or away from his mouth? Because seems it, like toward, but I uh, it depend, I, I guess really it depends on the knife. I really think that's a bad idea, my dude. Yeah, I feel like that's not how you're supposed to do it. Maybe the blade is the other way around, or just really knows what he's doing. No. Okay, we've got yeah, a limit like on a how far we can walk. Downward arc on this here. You can actually hang on. See through it. Oh, uh, you can actually see the bullet there. Cool. Oh, uh, wow. And, and it's also dropping. I wonder if it, like, what? I wonder if we can find it. Oh, the bullet? Yeah, I wonder if it, like, um, falls down there or if it lands further on the deck or something and we can... W- what uh, would we gain from finding the bullet? I don't know. If, I don't know maybe it'd be some other sort of clue. Who knows? In this case, we know the shooter. We, we do know, know the, the shooter. Victim, that's true. And ballistics is not terribly useful for Yeah, we us. don't really have a CSI department down on our little dinghy. Right. 
Unless that guy, maybe that guy is our CSI department. Maybe. Let's send this back to the lab. <laughs> By which I mean the little boat. Can we name him? Can I get N in? No, we can't get in here. Can we just like, okay, his name is Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, we know who that is. Come Any on. purpose in like um, analyzing other details or is it just faces? I was hoping you would look around the room that you just walked out of a little bit. More. Oh, this room here? Yeah. Uh, just, let's see. There's lots of little detail. There is lots of detail and bits and pieces. And it looks like this is a little bunk. Now we have a map for whose quarters these are, correct? I believe we do. Yes. Let's see. Because uh, we're right outside. We're on the main deck. And uh, we're right outside of... So passenger no. cabins. Oh, okay. Which is where we are now. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Well, where else can we walk in this memory? I don't know. Let's, Let's find look out. Around. We can. Uh, we can't go in here into the actual. But quarters. we can see that it's kind of shaken up in there. He's got an overturned table. Yes, overturned table and a an chair as well chair. back there. Yeah. Uh. Interesting. Hmm. Not a whole Can't lot else a whole visible, lot else. though. Yeah. Um. There's a door back there, which I think that's our exit takes us out. from the yeah, yeah. That's our exit from the memory. Uh, what else is about? If anything, we there's won't be able to follow him up. Yeah, there's a random poke stick. <laughs> and I guess we can't interact to open doors. So. I don't believe so. Although I guess I haven't tried. No. Yeah. No, this all seems pretty static. Yeah. Uh, can't follow this one up. Can just go around and look. I wonder if this there's anything else up here, piece. though. Yeah. Do, 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 do. By the way, this. Uh, I understand that this game's graphic style just falls apart on YouTube, so apologies if compression makes this look garbage. Oh. <laughs> there's not no. a whole lot we can do about it. I did look online, the game's creator says that this, uh, that this graphic setting and this, uh, like, that what we've currently got it at now is your best bet. <laughs> but for whatever reason, YouTube compression, like, design, didn't take into account one bit graphics. <laughs> mm. Gee, Go I figure. can't imagine why. Yeah. I really wish it did not get wavy on the edges. I wish that too. I actually don't look, like, I guess that helps That's to, what makes me motion sick. Like, it helps to signify, I guess, that this is a memory as opposed to other things, but I kind of wish that they didn't do that too. Let's I go in here. don't really need that to signify it, and it does make me ill. Yeah, I don't, I don't love that part. Um, That's what's doing it, for sure. Okay. Well, we've done right. that. Um, so, do you want to follow the path of Knife Man up to see if there's anything oh, obvious yeah, to get up there? Do. So I went up here, and um, he did not trip and fall on his own knife. Seems like no. Is that a no? That's just texture of the boards. No. Can you look over the front of the boat? Uh, I think the, we're at the rear of the boat now, oh. but... Can you look over the rear of the... What's oh, that? What is that? I don't know. A sparkly. Huh. I don't see anything else like that. Anywhere. That seems important. But, um... I, I guess let's just remember it for now. Yeah. Um, maybe we can go there in our little boat after we're done with our big boat. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, um... So, hmm. we could go check out the captain's quarters. It might be what we have to do. I don't know what else we can actually do up here. I guess we can more thoroughly oh, investigate yeah. the front. But, uh... We're the king of the world! Woo! Ruling is boring. Let's go to the back of the boat. <laughs> And we'll keep the cage thing in mind, because that seems kind of important. Just keep an eye out for loose tigers. Right. Um, what oh. is going on with that door? Uh, it's blurry? I think it's just blurry. In a way that's different from every other door here, I wonder. Huh. Hmm. Odd. I guess, because this was, like, closed before, right? Or I thought it was, I don't remember. Anyway. I uh, can't recall. Nothing else looks different in here. Not at all. Though but we that's do have a another body. Two, in fact. There's ah. the knife. Oh. Uh, and the poke stick. Uh, Wait, how did the poke stick get in here? That's a great question. 
and I don't know. Hmm. Also... Every time we find a body, I am going to have um, Megan the Stallion's song in my head. <laughs> just, just my brain's just going body yaddy 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 yaddy. <laughs> We're professional detectives. Barry. Um, all right. Well, let's um, investigate. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are going to be death scenes, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Ah, Captain's using the poke stick uh, to defend from... Is that Knife Man? I believe... No, this is the captain, actually, I think. Yep, this is the captain. Okay. Who has the knife. Uh... Then, oh, that's the man who is outside who didn't get shot. Ah, oh, right, you are. There you are, okay. How did Captain get the knife? Good question. Maybe it's a different knife. Maybe the boat has more than one knife, Carrie. Could be. Maybe there's more than one knife on this boat. There's more than boat. one boat knife on this boat, possibly. But okay, uh, we Oof. can we can uh, answer at least a thing or two here. Yeah. Um. Um. In How do that I, first picture. Or How do I get works. something to appear in the book, I guess, is Click the question. on that. Sorry, go back one page. Mm -hmm. The bottom picture on 125. Okay, that's just the quotes. The three others were present picture, maybe? Now go down to the other dude. Ah, okay. Yeah. There we are. And uh, we know some things. Hmm. I, this may not be the page where we... <sighs> do that i guess i i would have loved it if we could though like if we could uh fill in some information well maybe hmm maybe we need to i feel like we need oh, to Oh, that's outside the captain's quarters can you turn the next page to uh, no, the other direction inside. inside the captain's quarters we don't have anything yet yeah i wonder Even how to make though it that's where we are right okay Let's... well keep looking around there's a gun on the floor right Maybe just after a while, after your initial search, oh, it will do the, yeah. uh, it'll add it to the book. And, we need okay. the, the book thing to happen. Like I assumed I was supposed to manually do that at some point, but same. this also works. All right. Uh, two others were present, eh? Because I only see the one. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Don't know who it is, but... Uh, they were stabbed? Uh, they were killed. But uh, not with the sword. Strangled, struck, suicide. Knifed, Knifed. I guess is... Yeah, yeah, that's close enough. Knifed by, by the captain. The captain. Every one of these is going to be dead by the captain. The captain did it. <laughs> Every time. The captain uh, is the killer. In the boat with the knife. Right. And gun. Where's this other individual? Okay. Are they out here? That's where our friend's corpse is. Right. Where did Knife Man go? Where did Knife Man go? And I don't know if that like counts as the person present, given that they are dead now, but right. yeah, where did Knife Man go? Hmm. Knife Man? You were just here. You were. And you were running up here. Is he up in the rigging? Possible. Well, no. Okay. I wonder if he's on, like, the outside area. Kind of out and around. What? There oh, you ho, are. Ho, ho. There you are. I didn't Dropping know in. I didn't know boats had this. I didn't either. All right. I love it. Neat. The All captain right. has a little walkway out the back of his... Oh, I, lo it's quite I love nice. it. It looks cozy. Like yeah. a nice place to have a cup of coffee in the morning. Do you All get right. coffee on boats? I'm sure they get coffee on boats sometimes. Probably need there to be somewhat coffee on limited boats. supply, but still, though. Mm. All right. Uh, where is this other individual? Um, They're bald, correct? Right. I uh, don't think that they're showing up in this drawing, but if we go to the... Ah, yeah. there you are. So you're present. 
but you don't look to be a super important figure on the ship, given that you're not in the firing squad and you're not standing near the captain. Indeed. Okay. All, All right. right. So, can we, can't enter any more rooms. Doesn't mm, maybe it's just the same exit. Well, uh, I wasn't sure we were done in the captain's room. Maybe we're not. Um, and maybe we are. I just, I felt like there was something else, like around the corner. If you go back out the way we did to see bo the knife man, but to the left. Oh, okay. Sorry. Quite all right. It's been a, a quite a while since I played this, but I did get a little ways in. So some of my like feeling like there might be more may be left over from stuff I can't actually consciously remember. That's fair enough. I we're, we're well past what I had played before this recording session now, so it's all new to me. Let's see what the other corpses yes. say. All right. So that was the who knows the dude dead. with the little cap on. Right. That this we is don't this know the yet. Captain? We'll find out. Perhaps. This is so cool, by the way. It is. Ooh. Let's Yuck. see. All right, so the captain That's the was captain thwacking bald knife man. Yes. In the head with, with poke the poke stick. stick. But was already Where's hit with a knife, knife, so... He's already been stabbed. Okay. Hey, Captain? Are you wearing clothing? The Captain has pants on, right? Yes. Okay. Just the clothing is hard to identify on him, and that's awkward. Let's see. This person's already gone. Mm-hmm. Uh... Any... Did that person bring the gun in? And he thwacked him with the poke stick and then sliced him with a knife? I think the captain already had the gun and had fired it. Oh, right. And then... The guy, bald guy came in with a knife. Uh, captain probably had his own knife. Uh, this is so complex. <laughs> I think it's only going to get worse. Hmm... All right. One other person was present, which is, I assume, the captain in this case. Uh, who is this? No idea, but... Uh, they got clubbed. Clubbed, That's yes. That's word. By... The captain. The captain. There if we are. We don't actually know for sure if that killed them. Maybe they True. just got knocked out, but... I'm assuming, like, uh, I'm assuming if we're don't. investigating their body, then we're being shown the moment of their death and probably the cause of it, most but likely. whose body is that? Is that Knife Man or is that Captain laying this on the This one's Knife floor? Man. Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Then, yes. Uh, that yes. means Captain lived, because there's not a third corpse in this. So Captain made it through this confrontation. Yes, so it seems. Maybe not tons further, but definitely... Uh, oh! That door's open now. Ah, uh, yes. This may be how we kind of progress through here. Oh. Let's see. All right. Hmm. Uh, open book. Open the book while examining a face to flip directly to the sketch. That's useful. Ah, that's good to know. Good. All right, so there's you, unknown. Hmm. All right. So there may not be a whole lot more to see in this one, but we've got a little bit, we've got another door open now. Yeah. So we can investigate probably where another body is, either the captain's or hers, and continue the investigation. Indeed. All right. Oh, man. Anything else topside before? I think we checked this first. I think you're right. I think. We've checked it a couple times now, and I can't remember which time we did it. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, 
Yes, that's open. Oh. And the door is wavery because we because just... Because we interacted with it. Yeah, because our investigation is taking us kind of further and yeah. further in. And so through. that's showing us the doors that get unlocked specifically because of our actions. Nice. All right. Good. Nothing here. And... The captain is... There's another knife. So yeah, there's... Right. Knife guy brought one. There are two knives there. One's on one side of the doorway. One's on the other. If you peek oh, around. Oh, right you are. Yes. One of them the captain used to kill Beanie Man and or took man or whatever you want to call that little hat ski cap man yeah and the other one was used to stab captain yes and I'm so the guessing captain... this is captain and bill this we can oh. guess pretty easily is her uh captain's got a gun next to him now can you check and see if the gun is gone from its place out there it is it is okay so the captain took the gun with him into that room after he'd been stabbed and pulled the knife out so it seems. Uh, let's okay. Let's start with this one. Abigail. Oh, a name. Your brother, my friend. I shot him dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Okay. Oh. Okay. So that we've got several bits of information now that are useful. Yes. Uh, Captain died by suicide via right. shotgun. But and also, this may be Abigail. Yeah, this I'm fairly certain is Abigail, and that also means that Abigail's brother is, is the one out one. here. Yep. Um. Which so, may help us identify several things. Yes. Let's start with Abigail, or actually, let's start with the captain's suicide. Right that's, on. That's a known thing that should be pretty easy to find. Stabbed, yes. came in here, and shot himself. Oof. There's Captain. There's you, and we know this is Abigail now, so. Yeah, and this should take us to a page to identify her, I think. This one might be the captain's page, technically, since it's where he died, but we can uh, still... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Captain Robert Witterell. Uh, suicide. Suicide. Gun. By gun. There we are. Okay. This may or may not be correct. But we just saw it. Fates are validated in sets of three. Oh. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Uh -huh. Aha. And when it's typeset, we know it's correct? I guess so, yeah. Interesting. Indeed. Uh, all right. No one else was present, so they don't consider corpses to be a presence, which I think we already knew, but this just confirms that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... All right. Okay, so... Um, identifying Abigail, though. Actually, I guess the easiest way to do that is closing book. And looking at her face to... Yeah, and then... Yeah. Open book. This is Abigail... Abigail Pro Hossett Witterell. Okay. Uh, Hossett would be her maiden name. Probably so just... Triple checking, make sure, making sure there's not another Abigail, but that's almost her definitely... Her last name is the same as the captain. Yeah, no, I'm assuming so. so. Just making sure. Why okay. is one of our passengers listed as unknown? Uh, Scroll back up. Oh, yeah, an unknown. Interesting. And not numbered. Yeah. There was a stowaway. Oh, another unknown. Oh, they're not stowaways, though. That's a midshipman. Several unknowns. And a steward. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Abigail, there we are. Identified. Yes. Uh, very good. Now, the middle name, Hasid, like I mentioned, is going to be her maiden name, most likely. Okay. So we should check the roles for the guy who got shotgunned. We yes. should look for that last name. We good may be able idea. to identify him. And he's standing next to the captain there, yeah. Yes, there we go. 
Uh, William Hossett, first mate. There I we are. So with that fancy hat. There I we go. He would be high in command. Okay. Facts. All right, we filled in some information. That is and... most likely correct. Uh. Hmm. What I might do next, we'll do a quick sweep around, and then we will uh, exit and uh, dive in to hers, because her death seems to have happened well before, or at least somewhat before for her to be yeah. dead and not count as a present individual now. Yeah. Also, let's check topside, just in case. I don't think there's going to be anything up there, but... Her death doesn't look to be caused by trauma. It looks more like an illness. Yeah, kind of that's... Thing. Or it's a trauma that was treated. Like, she's clearly been put to bed and died there. Yeah. Is the look of it. And... X, X, X. Is that for correct things? I hope so. Uh, so this is where th when they were here. Okay. Um, don't know what. I don't oh, the know X's what might meant. just be the the number of corpses found at this uh, in this uh, at moment this of time. time. Yeah, four deaths happened here. Okay, that no, makes sense. Nothing's typeset yet, but I wonder if that's. And it looks like these must have been the final deaths because no one moved the bodies. Yeah. So whatever happened, that was the last of it. Just making sure nothing else is popping up here. I assume they'd show us if something was, but just being sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's look into this. The, uh, whoa now. What? Haha! -ha! That's cool. Okay. Okay. All right. Does this squid. count as clubbed? <laughs> clubbed by squid? Clubbed by squid. Octopus. Not the way any of us Squactopus. ever expects to go, but somebody has to go this way. So. I mean. You never know. It could be you. There's a <laughs> lot of people present here. Oh boy, yeah. All right. We got a lot of work to do here. Oh. Uh, all right. I'm afraid, spoiler-wise, they're all uh, going to die. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just seeing it doesn't feel good. Uh, seeing the moment of it doesn't feel good. All right, so you, we know. That's Abigail. Uh, this gentleman you with a sword. new. Ooh, you look fancy. You do. Uh, and you I'm have going a to guess fancy sword. Second mate? Or, uh, like, Stuart or something. One of those fancy titles. Oh, well, we'll that's fine. We'll get back to it, right? I'm wanting to come up with some sort of pun on the plot thickens that involves a squid or sea monster or something. The plot krakens doesn't feel good enough. <gasps> that is pretty good. It's like... It's like a B minus. I feel like there's a better. I, mean, I called it a squoctopus <laughs> because I don't know whether it's a squid or an octopus. Fair enough. So, and I should know. Those two things are not things I should get confused. Looks like octopus tentacles. But, okay, thank you. Yeah, but large. Uh, all right. Now, she was speaking to someone named Martin. Ten others present. I thought oh she was goodness. calling to Martin. Like, Martin, is Martin the captain's name? No, uh, it's our Witteral. So okay. Martin doesn't start with an R. Uh, all right. So this is, we're back in chapter seven now. So a ways back. Oh, Corpse no. was moved post-mortem. Yes. Uh, ten others sense. present. So lots of folks. Uh, Martin. Oh, you're right. Martin, where's the captain? So that Martin is pro probably, probably the, the guy diving. but uh, Yeah, he's probably the person closest to her. Hard to say for sure, but probably. Um, um, what's up with that? I don't know. Uh, are we in a different... Scene's the same. Scene? No. Well, yeah. We seem to be having some difficulty here. Well, understandable fear, I suppose. Um. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Let's eaten by Squactopus. Is that a death? Action, huh? Oh. What? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Oh. The Squactopus. What? Hmm. Are these lightning flashes? No, I like I took some action using the the uh Yeah, I saw the button said action. I just don't know what your action has been. I don't know. I'm gonna keep on kind of just exploring around. Can you check on like look at these other people? Or is it not? Can't in even that? zoom in anymore. Okay. So, How about we head up the steps then? Let's try. There's someone shooting at the Squactopus. Yep, can't go up. It's not. I don't need to keep calling it a Squactopus. We know it's not a squid. Oh, wait. I just like the word. Here's oh, some... my gosh. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, we're sort of like doing an, an investigation inside the scene here. Interesting. What do you mean? Like, usually we're not allowed to investigate another body within the... the uh... Within one memory? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Oh. It's like pulling you. See? There's a, a trail. Follow it. Hello? I didn't expect that. I did not either. Oop. Where are you going? Oop. Ah, okay. Useful. All right. Gross. Tell you what, y'all. We're going to wrap up here now for today. We will be back with this on Wednesday, and we will continue here with Return of the Obra Dinn. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. I'm very excited to see the rest of this. Me too. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.